So I'm in the condenser section of a carrier rooftop unit. I think it's a 50, 60 ton. And I'm replacing this condenser fan motor, which is number four. And I happened to glance over at number three and that thing is riding all the way down. You can see not very much of the blade actually gets into the shroud. And the set screw is loose. I know you can't see, but the the set screw is loose and this thing has basically rusted down there so if I'm trying to be a good Samaritan I'm gonna go get something and make it better so a quick little tutorial about the carrier comfort link and their scrolling marquee apologize the Sun is out but uh, feels good so I'm not gonna complain got like a 60 ton unit here I just replaced that condenser fan motor and blade so normally you guys are used to probably seeing the carrier comfort link which if you don't know what some of these things mean you hit enter and escape at the same time and it tells you what that is the same thing goes for here on the comfort link so you can see it says HVAC, and then you see a lot of you know what these are already, so this is for guys who don't. But when you start getting down into something like that, EC.C.P, you hit enter and escape at the same time. And there you go. Like, no matter what screen you're on, it pops up, and then it gives you kind of a rundown of each one that you could just scroll down and it'll tell you basically everything as opposed to just dealing with your standard jargon let me see here let me go back enter view so as like that ec.c.p okay and at the same time there we go economizer control point scroll down and you can see that it will actually give you the readings same thing works with the alarms right scroll down to alarms enter so you know, say you didn't know what A055 was. Enter and escape. And there you go. It tells you compressor one stuck. And then you could just start scrolling down and it will read out the code, circuit, and what it actually is. Happy HVACing.